Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to my night of resin. <laughs> so a lot of you have asked me um, in the comments and I've been messaged and emailed saying, you know, when are you gonna show us how you resin off your boards? So here we are, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Um, now, as you can see, um, you're pretty far away um, I went and got a second table, so I'm very excited to now have two tables um, side by side, which gives me so much more working space, which I'm very excited about. Um, I just revamped the whole basement and got rid of all the kids' old toys, um, donated them. Um, you know, they're, they're practically never down here anyway, so I said, you know what, if you guys are gonna not play down here, then I'm gonna make it mommy space. So the one half, over there is daddy's man cave, you know, it's got all this sports stuff. And then this half of the basement is all for me now. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention very, very quickly is um, if you've watched the last, what is it, two videos, maybe three, something like that, you'll see that I have started using um, this awesome silicone mat. Um, so if you haven't seen those videos, go check the video out, um, check out video number, what is it? 104, I think, um, and check about the, I don't know, maybe two minutes in or four minutes in or something. But anywho, um, I talk about the mat. Um, now these silicone mats are pretty awesome. I've been using them to do my acrylic pouring on. Um, they're great for, um, skins you get to peel them off, but now I'm going to use it with my resin. Um, I only have the one piece so far. I'm going to get more. Um, that way I'll be able to cover my whole table and get rid of this newspaper once and for all. Um, but for now, I just have the one piece. Now, the thing is, for those of you who want to buy the mat, I will put the link um, in the description below. But there's a catch. Well, there's a problem. Adriana, the lady who makes these um, and sells them, she's completely sold out. So she's had over uh, 85 or so orders in a matter of a day and a half since I started talking about the mat and she has sold out completely. So to those of you who bought one, I cannot thank you enough um, for taking my recommendations and purchasing the mat. And Adriana is absolutely humbled and wanted me to say thank you to everyone who's bought one. Um, she does have a new shipment coming in um, it's going to take about two or three weeks though, so they are on back order. But if you still want to buy one, you can, and you can still use the code um, CANELA5, and that'll get you $5 off the jumbo mat. Um, so for those of you who still want to place an order, knowing that you're going to wait about two or three weeks um, for the back order, Adriana has graciously offered to um, throw in the scraper, which is... Oh, I gotta get it. Um, so she is gonna throw in the scraper and the caddy tool um, for free for you guys. So anyone who places an order now um, that it's on back order and you're willing to wait the two or three weeks, Adriana is, like I said, graciously offering to um, add these two pieces in with your order free of charge as a thank you um, for your patience. So anyone who wants to buy the silicone mat, click on the link below, use code CANELA5 and um, purchase a mat because these things are absolutely amazing. So I'm very excited about that. So I think that's all I had to say about that. Uh, yeah, that's it for that. So I've already gone ahead and mixed my resin. If you wanna know how I mix it, um, check out the um, link that's gonna pop up up there. It's a video I've pre-recorded uh, back in the day um, that shows you how I mix my resin. So I thought I'd save some time by not mixing it on camera. Um, I use art resin um, and it is uh, part A and part B and you mix them equally, which is what I've done here. Um, what else? Oh, please use a mask. Um, when you're using resin like I mean they say art resin is odor free and toxic free and all and all that stuff but you know you you should use a mask um, I don't have one on right now because I you guys would hear muffled 
you know, voice coming out of me because um, I'm trying to talk to you guys. But um, when I'm not recording and using resin, I do use a mask. So please use a mask. Um, okay, moving along. I have the 24 inch round. I have three 20 inch rounds. They are dried. So what I do um, is I just um, take my hands or cloth um, and I just make sure there's no dust or like anything that may have fallen on the board, just any specks or anything, fluff or whatever, and I just clean it off with my hands. Actually, and I'll show you something else because I have more on the floor. Clearly, I ran out of space on the table. But just, you know, use a cloth. Even one of those dusting cloths would work really well. Um, so, whew, little tight squeeze here. I have my camera propped up on my daughter's um, dollhouse. <laughs> I had no room on the table, so I had to prop, her up, prop it up on the, on the dollhouse. All right. So these are all clean and I'm just gonna show you really quick what I've got going on on the floor here. So down on the floor here, I've got a few more pieces um, that need resining. I have the diptych over here, um, which I call reflection, and then my two um, experimental rounds with the GAC um, GAC800 and the Floetrol. Now, um, I've already put them down, I've gotten my level i cannot stress enough how important it is um, that you make sure your pieces are level um, or else everything's just going to slide right off so they are level and what i've done um, i have sorry i can't really hold this and talk at the same time there we go so i have this awesome um, picnic barbecue net cover um, which is super cool and would you believe i bought this at um, the dollar store so I bought it for those in Canada. I bought it at Dollarama, which is actually really cool. So I'm just going to move it over here because I don't need it just yet. Sorry, I'm taking you guys for a ride. And then I have a little version as well over here. So just a little smaller version, um, which is these things are perfect because because these are on the floor, they're more prone to dust falling on them. Um, I don't have room in my drying rack, which is right there. Um, it's full of stuff. So unfortunately I can't put stuff there right now. Um, but yeah, so I have these, I have a couple of them and I got them from the dollar store. So um, yeah, so just, I've made sure these are completely level and all that. So let's put you back up on the dollhouse and enough jibber jabbering and we'll get started. So. All right, that'll stay there. Make sure you guys are in camera angle. All right, so as excited as I was about buying a microphone so that you guys could hear me better, I guess I should have really looked into investing into a cordless, a cordless microphone, um, maybe down the road, but for now this will have to do. So, all right, get my gloves on. So as I said, I've already mixed my resin and it's nice and clear. So, oh, and this is the one I've, I'm doing a clock on. So if you saw my per two videos ago, you'll, you'll see I showed you guys the clock with the clock hands on it. Guys, it's amazing. My hubby drilled a hole in this one and I, Yay, I'm so proud of myself. Um, I drilled a hole in the one piece that, I think it was the GAC 800 piece. I'm gonna turn that one into a clock too. So I'm gonna turn one into a clock and then this one's gonna be a clock too. So I've already drilled the hole and then the rest are just gonna be um, wall art. I better move this teeny tiny remote. That's what gets my camera going. And then you also need your um, heat gun. So if you don't have one and you plan on working with resin, I suggest you get one. Um, I have it listed in my Amazon shops, which are in the links below. Uh, you could use a torch, um, but I prefer not using a torch because 
Um, you're more prone to burning the resin because it is an open flame as opposed to this, which is really, really hot, but not an open flame. Um, that's just preference for me. So I prefer um, to use a heat gun, not a torch. All right, stop talking, Canela. Let's move on. So, you know, people probably wonder, well, how much resin do you need? Good question. I have no idea. There is... Um, Artresin.com has a resin calculator where you punch in your dimensions of your piece. So let's say you have a 12 by 12 piece and it'll tell you exactly how much resin, how many ounces of resin you need to cover that piece. Now I'm doing way too many pieces. So that calculator means nothing to me right now. So I just mixed um, a big cup right now and you're better off not mixing enough at first because then if you have extra, and you don't have anything to do with it, it's a really big waste of resin. Um, and the last thing you wanna do is waste resin, because believe me, art resin is not cheap. So, like I mean, in Canada, uh, I believe, what is this, a half gallon, I think? I think so. I think they're, ooh, I think they're half gallons, let me see. Yeah, so half gallon of hardener and half gallon of resin. So one gallon total. Um, I think that's right. But anywho, that cost me like 285 bucks. So it's, it's definitely not cheap. Oh my gosh, the colors just pop when you throw resin on here. It's insane. Okay, so yeah, like I said, you're better off mixing more if you need it then mixing too much and then you don't know what to do with it and you have nothing left to pour on and you've just wasted resin. So I'm gonna, I poured a bunch here as you saw, I'm gonna use my heat gun to um, heat it up a bit and that way it moves easier. So um, please bear with me with the noise. I know I have a microphone now so it might be louder than normal. So um, this one, because it has the hole in it, uh, don't worry about getting um, resin in the hole um, because like, I mean, it will go in there no matter what you do. Um, so what I do uh, after it's dry, because the resin has fallen into the hole, um, I just take the drill again and I just drill the hole again. Um, and it just, it's perfect, it's fine. So don't bother taping the hole or taping around the hole. That, that just, woo, dropping resin on the floor. That's not good. This is what I get for putting four boards on one table or two tables, but I should be more careful. I really don't want to make a mess. Trust me, you do not want to get resin everywhere. It is a B-I, you know, T-C-H, um, to get out of anything. So, all right. So I'm just using my hands, or my hand, um, to spread out all the resin and make sure my edges are getting covered. It actually feels really, really nice, actually, um, the resin in between your fingers. It's actually kind of cool. All right, so I think I got my edges. All right, so yeah, see, I'm getting all kinds of resin in the hole for the clock, but that is okay, because I'm literally just gonna grab the drill again and drill right through the same hole and it'll be fine. So, all right. Uh, my hands are filthy. I'll just scrape them right here back into the cup. It really is um, 
a sticky mess working with resin, like for real. All right, so I've spread it all out. There's tons of bubbles in here. Um, so I am going to use the heat gun again to A, pop all the bubbles, and B, um, make it um, heat it up so that it moves better. All right, so bear with me. Feel free to fast forward because I'm not gonna be talking through this part anyway. just something in there that I want to get out I can see it this is why it's so important to um, clean off make sure your board is literally crystal clear clean yeah see there was like a you know what it was um, it was the particle the MDF particles from the hole that's what it was but I got it just make sure there's no more because I was running my hands over the hole, right? Okay, so this is really fluid now, like very fluid, which is perfect. So I'm just gonna do it a bit more, so feel free to fast forward. And that's it this one's done so um, when I first put the resin down and I heated it up I used the low um, setting and, and then just now I was using the high setting just to um, make it more liquid and not as thick because it is cold um, the resin it's, it's supposed to be a spit like what is it seven ooh I almost dropped the camera um, it's supposed to be room temperature, right? So actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do this one. That way you guys can see closer what I'm doing. All right. I probably won't do all four of these on camera because I think after two, you'll probably get the gist of it. And who wants to see me do four of these, right? Um, I will put this on the floor. All right, so let's move on. Um, so that was a big piece. So I still have um, half a cup left, right? Um, and I think I may have even put too much on that one. So what you want to do actually when you're done is just literally, um, even if you have to take, let's say, the flashlight of your phone and shine it and make sure there is not, see, and as I say it, I saw it, um, a bare spot. And because if there is, you're going to, it, you're gonna have to start all over with a second coat and trust me you don't want to do that because um, it's a waste so it's a good thing I just noticed that there was a bare spot right here and that would have sucked so give it a good look over and really make sure there's not and it's sometimes it's really hard to see guys, especially depending on the color that's on your board or on your canvas. Um, but you really, really, really need to look hard um, to make sure there's nothing there. And if there is a bare spot and you touch it um, to make it not bare, um, just use the heat gun again. And it'll, you know, liquefy it more, if that's even the right word, but, um, and then it'll all blend together. So 
Guys, I wish you could see how much the colors pop when you add resin. It's insane. All right, is this thing hot? Yep, it's hot. Oh my gosh, I'm running out of room here, people. All right. Put that there. Problem is, it's so hot, I can't really rest it anywhere else. All right, moving right along. I'll do this one. What are we at? 20 minutes? Goodness. All right, I'll do this one and then you'll get the you'll get you get the idea. So I'm going to need more resin anyway. Okay. So let me uh, heat it up a bit. just use your hands um, if you have the spatula and you want to use a spatula you can do that I really don't like using anything else other than my hands because you really get a feel of where there's resin and where there isn't resin um, and you really want to make sure you get every corner every you know the, the entire surface and you can't really feel that um, with a spatula or like a popsicle stick or anything like that so just put some gloves on well you got to wear gloves anyway so trust me you have to wear gloves um, so if you're wearing gloves anyway you might as well use your hands and trust me when I tell you it actually feels really nice it's like playing with like really thick water or something but I have these specks of dust all right so my surface seems to be covered it's very gel like but that's why you need the heat gun because that will heat it up and just turn the gel like resin into like a watery resin all right so that's done <sighs> waste not want not trust me you want to save every drop of resin you can all right i'm going to heat it up on high it's going to get rid of all the air bubbles and really make it flowy hot <laughs> all right I'm gonna put this over here on the little mini silicone mat I have because that thing is very hot okay guys so again just check it make sure there's no dust no fluff nothing a hair you know cat hair dog hair your hair um, nothing that's fallen in um, and again make sure you just rub your fingers around the edges um, and just like i tell you guys in my acrylic pouring um, feel free to run your fingers under the edges too because um, there's a lot of dripping going on under there as well so yeah, oh yeah lots going on under there but anywho so i've done two i think you guys get the gist of it um if you have any questions just feel free to comment below um i pretty much answer every question or comment um but yeah so there you have it a uh, quick little tutorial i guess on um, or lesson on resin and how to finish off pieces you can do canvases as well. I have done some canvases. 
Um, I won't do larger than um, 12 by 12 because then it just gets heavy and you risk um, warping your canvas. Um, so the highest, um, the biggest size I've ever done is a 12 by 12. Um, so you can do canvases as well, but I prefer to do them on the wood rounds only. So that is it for now, guys. I hope that was helpful. Um, and I'm going to continue doing the rest of all of these off camera. I need to mix more resin anyway. So let me know what you guys think. If you need any help or have any questions, feel free to um, put it in the comments below or shoot me a message or an email. That's also below, listed below. Um, all my social media links are listed below. Don't forget, if you want to order the mat, use the Canela 5 um, code. That'll save you five bucks. And just keep in mind that they are on back order. So it'll take about two to three weeks, but you get those nice freebies if you are if you want to be willing to wait patiently for the back order. That's it for now. And stay tuned for um, another video of me showing you guys the finished clock piece. Um, so that's it. Have a good night. Don't forget to subscribe for anyone who's new watching. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, guys. That way you're notified when new videos are uploaded. And that is it. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a good night. I do know. What? Do you know? No. <laughs> Hi, Wolfie. You're like a wolf. Are you a wolf? You want to go outside? Huh? Do you know? <laughs> Good morning. Are you hungry? Should we go out for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Is that a yes?